What's up, everybody? Welcome to Let's Wine About It. Today, I have two special guests, G-Way Baby and Q. What's up? Hey, <laughs> Q. No, you can't do it like that, girl. Hey, Q. <laughs> Damn. So, I have a few questions I want to ask y'all, but okay. before I get into the questions, I just want to ask, how was y'all week? Well, but first, <laughs> let's whine about it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, my, my week been cool. Really just been chilling. Going to okay. church, um, resting, taking care of my family. Really focusing on my mental health and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah most definitely. Most definitely. That's important. What about you, Please Q? Ask. Really just been working on my education, trying to work, you know, trying to grind, start this business and stuff like that. So Okay, yeah. and you got it. Speaking into oh, existence, yeah. already, oh. you already got it. Most definitely. So the first question I want to get into and ask y'all is what makes you feel inspired or motivated? Mm, really, um, me personally, um, just looking at myself, looking at how I used to be, like it makes me want to go harder, looking at my daughters, looking at my wife, just okay. it pushed me to go forward. Definitely. I got to a point where I'm not satisfied even where I'm at, even when I elevate, I'm still not satisfied. I don't like being complacent now. Y'all ever feel like time running out and you just got to hurry up and yeah, try to get to the bro. Oh, my God. But yeah. it's the worst feeling. I but feel it's like, like it's the worst. Like, we really got a lot of time, though. Yeah, like yeah, we do. I and feel like we got a lot of time, but it just... It's, it's the generation. It make you feel yeah. like you got to have you it You get all old real quick. Young. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. like, you don't have time to live. Like, ain't it no makes you feel like once you turn 20, you 80 years old. Yeah, like, and, but when you wait till you hit 25, time going to fly. Yeah. <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm not ready for that. I'm cool. Okay, the next question <laughs> I got is... What's one thing that people are genuinely surprised to find out about you? Um, well, you know, I'm musically inclined, so a lot of people don't be knowing that, like, you know, I play piano and trumpet and all that. He don't that. like to tell nobody to show it until, like, until he just do it. <laughs> well, you know, a lot <laughs> of people, like I think that was, that's how I kind of found out that, you know, that I was funny. Like, mm -hmm. a lot of people thought I yeah. was funny, but I was like, no, I'm not funny. I guess it, being shy played a big part in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you gotta broadcast your talent. If you talented, you gotta let everybody know you talented. She hide yeah. it for what? That's how I am with like writing stuff. Now I, I don't got the voice for a lot of stuff. I tried to go. I might be lying. I tried to record the other day. You better auto tune that thing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we tried to. It didn't sound yeah, right. It, it, nah, but it, I can write my. What the T fine? Nah, it was it was like. We try to make some like Afro type joint, and it was oh, a good no. premise. Like the cadence was gonna be good, but okay, I ain't okay. Got the voice for it. What keeps you up all night? What 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 y'all think keep y'all up all night? Man, just my desire to want more for myself, like the yeah, hunger, the drive, yeah, like yeah, for can't real. sleep, money, money, <laughs> gotta Simple have that, that money. Simple as that. Yeah, yeah. I wake up in the morning like I need to make some money right now. Oh I, yeah, most I, definitely the I money. That them three a.m. thoughts and you just get up and try to change your whole life. Oh, it's no, like, no, I, no, 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 no. You gotta you you gonna think about money. You gonna wake up out your sleep, go to the restroom, use the bathroom. <laughs> oh shit, I can I can I can make money doing this. Like literally, <laughs> literally. Okay, the next question. Tell me something that is true that almost nobody agrees with you on. I'm gonna let you go first. <gasps> Cause I get real argumentative. God is real. I'm just saying, hey, we out there. Oh, that's the <laughs> argument. Y'all know that. Nah, hey, no, nah. I mean, well, here's my thing. A lot of people nowadays been kind of straying away, and yeah. most people don't like really think about that. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't deal with people that argue. Is God that God is real or not? Because my God is all. Oh, so. <laughs> nah, look, man, it's oh, yeah. like when you go through. When you go through some times that show you God is real. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, hey, hey, man. Hey. And then, like, I, I know people that be having their self-doubt in God, then God yeah. will come right along, and, and, like, he won't do nothing to hurt you, but he'll throw you down, uh, sprain your ankle or something like but that. But it's he'll crazy. Like, oh, God, he don't, he don't do that. God is not the one that tests us. He lets the devil tempt us. Cause the devil has the he tempt us, but God the will definitely humble you. <laughs> now he got a sense of humor. He got a sense of look. He you got a sense of humor. But them, the, but them trials, yeah. He'll he'll let the he'll let the devil have dominion and test you so that you can grow your faith in him. Yeah. So you got two ways to go. You either fall under under the devil the rule or you go back to God. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You right. You right. I, I, and I couldn't agree with you more. More. I said more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more. Okay, so the next question. If you could turn back the time and talk to your old self back in 2020 when you first started, what would you tell them? Mm, mm. That was 
was like during COVID. Get the fuck up. <laughs> man, look. <laughs> Literally. Man, Wait. procrastination is my biggest temptress. So y'all know in COVID, like, everybody mm-hmm. was grinding. Like, yeah. that could, you know, the, like, er, the TV, TikTok, all that had everybody locked in. Like, mm-hmm. you you could see everything you want on social That's media right. during COVID. Because everybody ain't had no, 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 nothing but time to grind, like, on social media. Because right. everybody was in their phones home, the whole time. At, at home, I'm putting yeah. my camera up. Yeah, and everything. That's everybody blew up. Oh, what what what's one piece of advice would you give to someone to starting off as a artist, uh, social media cre- creator, um, songwriter, <coughs> singer, mm-hmm. pianist? I think I said it right. <laughs> the pianist, <laughs> pianist, yeah. <laughs> but um, really, like um, like you just said, just man, get up, don't go do it. Cause like yeah. we've been, the, we've the been, quote, the quote, yeah, the quote we've been the talking, quote. About, it's a quote we've been talking about for the longest. It's six months ago. Yeah, no, six, six months, months from, from now, now you, you gonna re- wish you started six months ago. Yes, right. so that's like, my thing. Like yeah. I said, it's February. It's time to get up and grind. I, the summer can't see me without at least starting to do something. Like right. second piece of advice: get out your head. Yeah, yeah. because the yeah. more you think about how people gonna feel about what you do, the less you are gonna get done. Yeah, because your the mind can be put out. your mind can be an enemy, like itself, yes. like against it, it can have you against you. Literally. What's been the most memorable memorable moment of your career so far? Um, I, I say probably on um, when I went to Dallas and you know we had some label meetings and shot some videos and mm-hmm. just really just having motion and really you know taking music seriously. I think definitely that night when we made that first song, it just I don't know it kind of sparked something in me because I had a lot of stuff in my head, especially writing wise. Yeah, that I didn't kind of want to reveal to her because I was scared about what people were going to think. And it's like, now I'm at a point, I'm at a pivot. Yeah, I'm you like, don't even care. Like, yeah. a- everything, I'm about to drop it, release it, uh, write it. I, I, see, the thing about like caring what people think, at least letting people know that you had thought about, like you thinking about me. So right. th- mm-hmm. that's all that matters, whether it's good or bad. Like, right. I'm in your head. So. <laughs> hey, yeah. What would you rather have, more time or more money? Time. I got more time to make more money, so. Good question. I mean, good. I mean, yeah, good, answer, good, good answer. Good answer. Good answer. I was gonna yeah. say the opposite. <laughs> give me the money. money. Look, so money can't bring you time, but time can bring you more money. So, I want to get to the T. I want to yeah. get to the T. Y'all, there, y'all, there, y'all know. <laughs> when, when gave me and come T. <laughs> so, I want to ask y'all about relationships with women and standards. Do you think men should have all the power or? No. Mm-mm. We'll be good leaders, but we're going to drive ourselves into the ditch leading majority of the time. For real. Yeah. Men, men yeah. have the leadership. Women have the insight. Yeah, because even by me being a um an openly gay male, like I still look forward to a woman to lead me with everything because I don't yeah. know everything. I, I right. We can never do like a woman job because women have all the brains. Yeah. And women have all the... I like all the central needs. I genuinely believe that behind every great man yeah, is a, a, a great, a great woman. Awesome, yeah. awesome woman behind him. Sure. So I always wonder what, what it was like. Like, what it would it be like, like being with a woman mm. and stuff like this. So, what, what, what could y'all tell me? Like, if I wanted to flip <laughs> over and start dating <laughs> me a woman, what could, what could y'all tell me that'll make me just want to go out and get me a wife tomorrow? They cook. They clean. I can cook. <laughs> I can cook too, but but really, it's just um, just um, it's hard to explain. It's just we all on one accord, like yeah, you know, y'all equally yoked. It's like it's, you know what I'm saying. When you find somebody that match, when you find somebody that match the parts of you that you do not level yeah. up. Man. So it seems like I need to go get me a wife. Oh, I, I think I've been tripping out. You you <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go out and get. <laughs> <laughs> Really, <laughs> um, how do you how how would y'all want to be remembered? Um, really, like by by my good work for sure. Yeah. My heart, sure. definitely. Sure. I feel like I have an awesome, an amazing heart. So it's like, yeah, yeah. So sometimes your heart will put you in some right. pretty messed up predicament too. Yeah. So yeah, I really, I really say that. Yeah, I, I don't think I want to be remembered just uh, to be silly all the time. I want nobody <laughs> at my funeral laughing like, oh, he what? Just, uh, no, <laughs> I want people at my I funeral to die laughing at the stuff I've I, done, but done I in my life wonder, for real. I want them to remember everything about me. Like, mm. I done did good things. Also, I done brought comedy. Comedy, like, laughter is the 
best medicine. It's, yeah, yeah, it's the best medicine, but also I want to be remembered by good things I have done. Like, oh, he was right. just all around good person. He he wasn't just funny because you could be funny and be a nasty person too. Right. And I want right. people to remember me for who I am, not the things that I've done. Yes, you're for right. People right. in in the yeah. in the world. You know what I mean? Because it's like, okay, you knew what I did, but you don't know me. I want yeah, my yeah. funeral funny. I'm gonna be like, I'm over here dead, and you niggas barbecuing. Like, <laughs> man, my uncle, look, my uncle, I want, I wanted to be like, you my want one on the barbecue at your funeral? Like, my uncle, yeah, turn up. My <laughs> uncle funeral, they was like, he was like, man, this nigga told the coldest day. They <laughs> had the whole crowd dying, bro. That nigga was told funny. The coldest so, day. so I, I got a question. Who, who was, who made the most influence in your life? I saw my parents, really him. This nigga, don't, don't be buttering me I'm up. Not, I can't <laughs> don't even, be buttering I, nah, me up. I can't even. He was like, I saw my parents, really him. Like, <laughs> I'm dead serious. Yeah. But like, I mean, I, that was, like, like, I really made real a stuff. huge pivot in my life yeah. when I met him. It's like, I was going through a mad depressive state. Like, I was. But I was, it's good when you can find, like, friends and your brother. Yeah. Like, especially yeah. if you can have people that can uplift you. Because a lot yeah. of times, like, my older brother never had time for me. Like, shit, I had to go out and take to other people. In the streets, go every time he, he was always older than me and stuff too. So yeah. <coughs> I know how that is. Who 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 did you want to be like when you grew up? When y'all grew up, like who did I want to be like? Well, I grew up in church, Ooh. so I wanted to be like the pastors and stuff. Nobody. <laughs> Do you still want to be a pastor? <laughs> oh, of course not. Why not? Stop <laughs> crying! <laughs> went, went wrong. You ever been swallowed? <laughs> swallowed. <laughs> uh, but nah, hmm. it's man, pe- dealing with people. On a day to day basis, just watching him, you know, it's a, a wedding this day, then a, a baptism this day, and a funeral this day, and then next week I do it again, and just so they was like the hero for you, yeah, they, yeah, uh, yeah, so. yeah, they was like, cause I used to like, it was just something about the Holy Ghost for me. I just used to want to catch the Holy Ghost so bad, but you know, I just you feel like the you, you ain't you never caught it. No, like it, I'm, say, I'm saying, like as a child, I ain't gonna as say that because I don't oh, want yeah. the, the people. But, <laughs> He never caught the Holy Ghost, but yeah, I have caught the Holy Ghost. But here's my thing. Don't feel bad about that. It's a lot of people that ain't genuinely caught the Holy Ghost. But I I really feel like the reason, uh, like, when I was younger, I really feel like the pastor was talking directly to the grown-ups. What? Like, when I was a child, I never caught... I felt like the pastor was talking to me. Like, every, every, the week before Sunday, it will always seem like what the pastor was talking about on Sunday is what I went through that whole week before. So, I I remember, like, as a child, um, my auntie had ended up catching the Holy Ghost. So she was like, jeez, 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 jeez. And me and my cousin looked at each other. I'm looking at him. And we was like, oh, my God. <laughs> they was so mad. Like, they was like, whoever back there laughing, y'all need to exit the church. My my grandma told us up. But yeah, I was going to say, oh, like, everybody catches it differently. So, like, yeah. not everybody finna shout and flip over pews. Like, like, me personally, when I have caught it, like, I'm just lifting my hands, crying, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Like, it, it, it get, I, I think it's different. I can't wait till the day that I'm actually just yeah. speaking in tone because I, I, don't, I don't like to play by stuff. Like well, that. let's invite you to Global Impact Christian <laughs> Ministry. I would love to uh, attend a church. I've been looking for me a good church. I'd have been to uh-huh. white people churches. I'd have been to celebrity pastors. I'd have been to everything. I can't find no good church up in Atlanta. Uh, white people say. churches are different. Like, too different. He was like, a lot in, of people feel in, like in, churches in are cults. <laughs> White churches feel like cults. Bro. Hey, Daddy like God. <laughs> <laughs> Not Daddy God. He's my Sky he said, Daddy. Sky <laughs> Daddy. Like, nah, if he said Sky Dad, I'm doing, most definitely like, leaving the church. Like, oh I'm getting up out of there. Um, I, uh, so, uh, this next question, I, I really want to know this. Like, when in life did you grow the most and you feel like, and what, what caused your growth? Um, when I found out my wife was pregnant. Well, she wasn't my wife at the time. Well, it's like yeah. a, a a bittersweet moment. Yeah. So right now I'm um I've been looking for a surrogate, mm-hmm. but I'm waiting to move. You know, get all my stuff together. I don't want to bring no baby into poverty right now. And we both be on standing <laughs> on side because dealing with me, my baby gonna be big and it like you gonna talk <laughs> you two months and you gonna be on or give me a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> so give it out. Oh my god. So um, yeah, it's um, and I I think that's a bittersweet moment though. Mm-hmm. I you love ever, to see. You ever thought about like adoption and stuff? Yeah, I, I have thought about uh, mm-hmm. adoption. Actually, it's it's um, but I don't know. I, I, it's just something about me want my own child. Like me, my DNA. Like I want to see yeah. how my, like you connect different when it's actually yours. Like, so I don't feel like I have no memories, no real memories. Like from when I was um growing up for mm-hmm. real. Like 
like no baby pictures and stuff. So I want to do all that with my child. Yeah. Nice. What what couples do you look up to the most? Oh, and what's your um <laughs> <laughs> really oh his mom and his dad like really? hey. oh man they, people and that and with that something how you want your own life to look yeah, like yeah, I, I, I talk to them almost every day like I just pull up whether he there or not I'm just talking to them about how people, to fix my stuff. people have always told me I've had it the best like the most people because it's like a lot of people that I've known and met uh -huh. and grew up in either toxic homes. Families that really aren't connected. My family, my entire family, is connected, full of love, unity, and it's like mm. people, people, you know, draw to that because a lot yeah. of people, family didn't mm. teach them how to communicate. My parents, yeah. since we were little, that's been the basis of our of our life: communication, love. You know what I mean? So we talk stuff out. Um, and they've had the, from what I've seen, the healthiest marriage ever. Not, of course, they went through this stuff, yeah. but it's like mm. they showed us how to go through it right because they never showed us their arguments, but they argued mm. help. Like in a healthy man, the majority of the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Like I like his parents. Like they, they allow you know all their kids to like respectfully disagree. So it's like when I first, like first, first met them, um, like we was just all sitting and talking, and you know he was of course his dad was just talking to his sons. He's like, okay, what do you dislike? You know when mom does this and says this, why do you dislike that? You know they are because I feel like you know mom would have made my but, back sound out like yeah, a drum. Exactly. Like, you know, we, 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 we got toe up for that, but they like, just I'm having not, healthy conversations. She would have been like, you being you grown, like bitch. <laughs> no, I'm not saying we didn't have our moments because you know yeah. they still go back to their black parent ways sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. But they a lot of times what they they do what most black parents don't do is go back and correct their mistakes yeah. instead of being yeah. like, hey, His here's parents, some they food. They not afraid to as apologize. apologize and yeah. They not, yeah. yeah. Oh, most parents no give you food <laughs> as an apology or be like, hey, uh, you want to go to the store? Right. They walk in. What well, you want to eat? I think <laughs> my dad was right. He was very vocal with, I'm sorry. Like growing mm -hmm. up, like he used to be like, I'm sorry for this. Like my mom, she'll beat your ass and be like. You want some to eat? Yeah, like, <laughs> and then you know I'm big, yeah. I'm I'm, I'm chubby so <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> pass me that sauce. <laughs> what okay. qualities are important to you and your partner? Oh, um, really? Um, number one is faith. Like, yeah. even if you don't necessarily believe in God, you gotta believe in something because yeah. we, we ain't come yeah. from no monkeys and no I'm fish. Say, like, no, 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 you gotta no. have some ground to stand on. Just like, yeah. Yeah, but even with some even, friends, like, anything. even the friends that I have who have um, different religions and stuff like that, I'm like, as long as you got a, a ground that you're standing on, so in a relationship is like, you have to have some type of uh, spiritual foundation. Oh, okay. <clears throat> uh oh, get raspy. <laughs> so this is the uh, the conversation Your I wanted. Just me too. I wanted to have with my um with my parents, well, with my friends. Mm -hmm. So the other night, all of us we was like had a little kickback, and everybody laid down and um didn't nobody pray. But mm -hmm. I was the only person that prayed. Like they, they, they fell asleep. I don't know. If they was like drunk. And, but I, th it didn't sit right with me. Yeah. So, cause you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a prayer. I'm a firm believer in, in God. Mm -hmm. Like I'm gonna go to Him with any, all this fail. And I was like, so, you know, it just, it just rolled me the wrong way. Like, mm -hmm. so, do, do y'all pray every night? Or? Oh yeah, I, I pray. I'm in constant communication. Like when we first got here, like we was like rushing. We even forgot one of the laptops. We didn't know all these. I was like, yeah, let's just pray. So I'm just yeah, driving yeah. and praying. Yeah, I, I, I'm constant communication. It's been a, it's been a trial. Like I, I have my moments where I don't, but I'm always in some type of word. I'll read a word or I'll find yeah, a video okay. that give me a word for the day. Um, cause it's always like I, I'll, my biggest prayer. I'm, I do like a little prayer throughout the day, and I say, Holy Spirit, read my heart so that I can read the word. Okay, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So I like that. So, uh, what are some red flags in your relationship? Like relationships, friendships. What are some, what are some red flags? Not believing in God, but um, that miscommunication. Yeah, um, you don't just, want nobody around you that can't communicate. That. Yeah, or just who take everything to heart, cause like I'm a funny person. Yes, like, and take that. everything like they like, they get um, how can I say this? Offended easily. I used yeah, to get yeah. offended e real easy when I first started mm -hmm. with doing content creating and stuff yeah. like that, mm -hmm. and I just had to like put on my grown me on the wear, and I was like, yeah, you being too soft, like you gotta <laughs> get yourself. Yeah. Like, I roll with people who don't expect themselves out of other people most of the time. Besides yeah. him, because he expects himself out of everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? want everybody to be better. Bro. Yeah, yeah. You just you <laughs> just got a good heart. Like, good-hearted yeah. people, sometimes you'll run into other good-hearted people. And sometimes, right. that's my problem. I always ran into people that who didn't have the same, like, mm -hmm. yeah. same kind of heart that I had. And they'll, yeah. you know, they'll see I'm being too nice or they'll try to take yeah. advantage of it. Yeah, that's... 
That's one of the big things I struggle with. It's like yeah. one I struggle with saying no. Right. I, have I to argue with this man every day bro. about yeah. saying no. Like that's how I used to be. Like no, no friend or nothing around me could ever want for anything or something like that. Like I used to have people take advantage of that. This man, he will spend his last to make sure everybody else straight. And then just be I, like, I used to be like that, but not no nine. more. <laughs> you like, go bro, it's been difficult getting out of it. You know yeah, I mean? you would go yeah. broke for somebody, and then the next week they'll be looking at you like when they have, and you don't. They'll be like, well, you better do what you did to get the last. Like, what? You See, but that's, that's your expectation, being uh, <laughs> expecting you out of other people. Right. Mm-hmm. So um, what do you enjoy most out of dating? What do you hate the most about dating? Oh, really? I hate dating because, like, I hate starting over. Like, man, me and my, <laughs> me and my wife, we've been, what, what but since before COVID, right? About 2018, 2019. Like, I'm not trying been, to learn nobody else's right, favorite exactly. color. I'm not trying to learn nobody else's Yeah, starting peas. over is like, it's too much. Crazy, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's I like, when it. I, even when I was dating, you know, when we was on our little breaks or whatever, like, it's just... The more I talk to other people and see, seeing how weird they was, yeah, it just and, made me want to come yeah, back and, home. Yeah, like, and, and, and a lot of people don't have the same, like, right. and when you find that one person that, that you want to love for the rest of your life, it's not going to find it nowhere else. Right, Even right. when people, like, get divorces and stuff like that, they'll never be able to find the same thing over again because at some point before the break, you did get. Right. I'm not learning nobody else but her. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Yeah, he loved, he loved. <laughs> But yeah, okay. it's just, when you're so used to, you know, going to sleep with a person, waking up to a person, bad breath, yeah. bad hair, showering, cooking, all of that, then you go from that to meeting somebody new, hey, my name's Anthony, this is what I like to do. That, like, nah, I'm just, yeah. I choose, you know, When you learn my the worst parts of somebody, that's when you know you, right? Yeah. When you yeah, can love yeah. the worst yeah. parts of them. They, they, say, the they, they say you don't really know people until you move oh, in yeah, with them. Like, so so how was it, like, moving <laughs> in with your wife? Like, how did you, uh, what did you experience, like, different from... When you was actually like when y'all wasn't like mm. living together. Oh, really? Nothing crazy, you know. Thanks be to God, cause nah, that's not everybody. Cause you know, normally, you know, you see how much they shower, or how much they, <coughs> how much they don't shower, ooh, ooh. and uh, like they hygiene, just all of that. But like, she, she been in tip top shape from since before we start spending yeah. nights sneaking over, moving in together. Like everything just been like she always been about her hygiene, about her business, about her money. About everything, like yeah. we get in arguments now because I have to tell her to slow down because she's yeah, doing is a so literal much. jack of all trades. Right. Like, yeah, yeah, and I can tell you, like she, yeah. she's all about her business. She's yeah. very beautiful. Thank so you, you. Thank you. And you have a beautiful wife, girl. You are you married? Almost, almost. Okay, Engaged. okay. So when are you looking for a wedding? Or are you, is it? No, no. We uh, wait a minute. Slow then. right now. Slow okay, right now okay. It's like I'm. Trying, yeah, I'm trying. Yeah, to work yeah, I'm saying. Right so yeah, so like, we got uh, married on Valentine's Day. Oh, that they is so sweet. They just got married, yeah. so I was like, wow. Okay, congratulations, we congratulations. So, yeah. so we're gonna have a ceremony probably later this year, next year. <laughs> okay, year. I can't wait. I I would love to attend. Oh, I, I just love when love is in the air. You could be the pastor. <laughs> no, nah, I can't be no pastor. Man. <laughs> no, Stop no, crying. <laughs> just be the on the what they call the officiant, whatever. Just like. So you better marry this nigga <laughs> instead of the average, you know. Hey, we're gonna, we gonna, we gonna put on a skit. It's gonna be like, does anybody help? object? I do. Oh Lord, <laughs> Lord help us. I'm gonna be like glory. <laughs> <laughs> so what do what do y'all enjoy most about going on dates? It's something for him to answer. Cause me personally, like, I, I just know. enjoy the thrill. It's like I yeah. always find something new to do. Yeah, it seems like a lot of people like do the same thing over and over and over again. They'll do a movie at the movie theater, movie at home, uh, or go driving or some shit like that, or go see, get something to eat. See, like, I'm a home. I'm trying some fun stuff to do. I'm a home. So you don't like you don't like dating. Like, like I don't. It's like I don't go to the movies. I'm a people or? person that hates people. Like boom. I, and see, and, I, and me, yeah. that's me. Like I know <laughs> I had to talk to people. Like I had to be. I'm mm-hmm. I'm social. Yeah. I can I can hold a conversation and stuff like that. But sometimes people just get, you know like a lot of people like if it's yeah. too packed, uh, it, it might kill my social battery a little. Mm-hmm. So cool. when what I'm she around. did for like after our wedding, she was like, "Well, I do want to go to this restaurant, but I know how, how you get you know your little social anxiety out of that." Woo, woo, woo. So what she did, she hired a private chef to come to the house. And, That's you know, so she sweet. set it up real nice. But next time, like, do well, you I, smoke? Yeah. Yeah. So it don't help you with your social anxiety. It, it made me sleepy. I, I tell you what, get you some wine next time before y'all go out and you <laughs> okay. know get, it, it'll help you. Like it'll set the mold for you. Mm-hmm. You 
But I think a date wouldn't be bad. Like when you have anxiety, I have real bad anxiety. It mm-hmm. don't be bad. But you, you can yeah. just focus on her. Yeah. Drink you some wine. So the only thing you'll be worried about, you'll be watching us just like this <laughs> what y'all eat. Yeah, well, I'm going to say, but the times that she does force me out, you know, I might have a little attitude at first. But once we get out, I'm like, this was really nice. Yeah, like, it was. I mean, yeah. You know, so. Okay. What about you? I'm completely different. Oh, yeah. Like, he I got the same person. mindset. Like, I, I'm a people person. Yeah. I don't like people. Mm-hmm. Like, when I'm in my own vicinity, when I'm in my own space, I'm not going to text nobody. not going to call nobody for real like that unless it's him. Yeah. Or so, my, you, had that, you had that one person that you want to talk to, like, that you like talking to, whether it's a friend or... Your partner, because some days yeah, you don't he, just want to be. Girl, if I don't hear from him in two, three days, I'm I'm pulling up. Oh yeah, because oh, what's yeah. going on? What, <laughs> what's like, going on? It's ties. He got in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> he, he'll tell you folks what day. So yeah, all my best I'm friends, up. I'm like, where you at? They like, we thought he was with you. I'm like, and I'm over. You know, all my best friends, <laughs> like all of my friends, stay at least two two hours away from me. Uh, but see, if I don't hear from them, I know that something's going on or something like that. I'm pull up. I'm like, no, what's the Z? What's, <laughs> <laughs> what's going on in here? Like his ties, his nigga, he coming out the bathroom. I'm in his room on the bed. Like, yeah, yeah, what's yeah. You, what's the, time I yeah, you good? You good? And I got this nigga location, and it's like, I'll look at my phone. It say he over on the highway. I come out the bathroom, he <laughs> in the living room. What's oh, up, yeah. you? <laughs> yeah. So, um, how did you, how did y'all first meet y'all partner? Uh, dating app. It was dating okay. app, uh, three years ago. I just hopped on, uh, what was it, Wiz? And we played Wh- some what games. What is Wiz? Oh, it's for straight people. <laughs> no, you know. it's for everybody. It's for, oh, it's for, for everybody. Real? I don't see Because you know, uh, uh, real, the games be on Jack and Grindr and all that. They got yeah, all types of stuff. And it's stupid to go on there. You got to go on like the more subtle apps. You, you, know you sure? I'm 100% positive. Well, I did. I, I, I had crazy met stuff. a. Uh, so I was in a relationship from a year, for a year. Mm-hmm. Um, I fucked with a guy I had met from Grindr, but he didn't know that he was horrible, horrible, <laughs> You horrible can't get person. with those type dudes. They just yeah, he he, he like he played his like as they say snake card for a mm-hmm. whole like year, and then it ended up being like real bad. Mm-hmm. He was a horrible person, so oh that, that's God. why I learned my lesson with the like dating apps and stuff like that. Like, if I, I can't meet them out in a bar or in public or something like yeah. that, I'm not gonna meet them. I just so happen to get lucky, honestly. Like, how you, how you feel like you got lucky? It wasn't even supposed to be a thing for real. We were supposed to be a little summer link, like a one summer, night. little summer sneaky link. So I it must be good. Yeah, yeah, he ended up making yeah. it official. <laughs> we didn't even do nothing. That's the crazy part. Oh, we got, so, we so, just started you know dating. What? Sometimes, like, uh, the conversation be so good. Yes. I think that's why, because I don't, I, I'm not sleeping with nobody on no first date. Like, I don't give a damn who it is. I don't, I don't See, we that. we met on Snapchat. Like, really? So, on oh, Snapchat really be stunned, <laughs> like, good stuff. <laughs> Like, I just slid up on her snap because, like, she was modeling at the time. Like, she was modeling these swimsuits. So I'm like, oh, you look good. Woo, woo, woo. And I was like, oh, let me remember what times we are. I'm like, so how, how old are you? Why are you <laughs> take this even further? I was like, please don't not be. How old? I'm real. Like, like, please don't be 14, 15 out oh, here. And I'm yeah, like, yeah, you look good. Okay. She was like, I'm Get 18. Get your ass out here, right. 14, 15 is too crazy. Yeah, so I was just like, hey, you know, let's, let's hang out. You know, don't miss your blessing. And so, I'm going to give y'all beef yeah. about friendship. We're going to switch yeah. to thing because I really want to know about friendships or like yeah. what's the tea with friendship so what do you think a friendship mean how do you think a healthy friendship should look um really just you know a person that you can you know I ain't gonna necessarily say depend on you know because you just you just gotta you know trust people to be themselves you know yeah. don't put too much don't put too little but really just um just healthy communication you know you can talk to them you know you can also correct them and they can correct you without y'all having to fall out and stuff. And and I don't yeah. like those type of friends. Like if I come to you, if don't don't ask me how I feel about something right. and then you're gonna get offense and you're gonna get offensive and you're gonna wanna fight and uh, I'm mm-hmm. not I'm not doing it. I always ask is like, do you want um <coughs> hold on. <laughs> okay, you getting like when rest. Uh, look, it's like do you is do you want a ear? Do you want me to hear you out or do you want me to give you advice? Yeah. Right. See, I like that. I gotta start using it because a lot of times I don't listen. Like, I don't. I, I can't say my red flags are friendships or like, like I feel like I don't give my friends a chance. But I get, I hear them out, but I just go right into this is I'm what y'all need to do. This fun. Yeah, like so it just, it just, it just I always. So I'm my problem is I always got a solution. I feel like I always <laughs> have a solution. That's- and people don't want to be fixed. They, yeah, like, yeah they my, don't wanna... I have to learn that. It's like yeah. I'm always trying to help. Somebody and we can't because... fix nobody because that's that's who that's who job. <laughs> that's God, like, yeah, and they job. That's their own job. So what are, what are, what are big red flags in you know friendship? Um, like I said, um, always taking stuff to heart, being offended. Um, yeah, taking advantage. 
It don't yes. not even, it don't even gotta be friends. physically, <laughs> but financially, yes. spiritually, I, I a, emotionally. So when I first moved to Atlanta, I had met a friend and I ended up moving with him, like, and we was like we was helping each other. <clears throat> so then it switched from like put my career, like what I got going on on pause, and mm-hmm. it was all about him. Anytime mm-hmm. I went to him about anything I had going on mm-hmm. or the way like getting anything set up, it was, I ain't got time for that, but I need for you to do this for me, my restaurants and stuff like that. I understand being a businessman and being a business partner, but if you're going to be friends with somebody, at least let it be 50-50. Right. right. Well, how, how have your friendship changed as you grew up and moved through your seasons of life, college, early career, et cetera? I stopped seeing everybody as a friend. I used to say, "Oh yeah, they're my friend right there," and start making them family, right? Oh no, nah, like I don't even, I don't even consider my friends friends. Like that's family. This is family. Yeah, that's I, yeah. I have two okay. other friends outside of him. That's family. Like, yeah, because you you mm-hmm. can't use that word too loosely nowadays anyway. Because right. I feel like once you start building a bond with some people, some people don't have your best intentions at heart. They can't wait to get a label, and then they become overly opinionated. They become right. like all types of. All, all types of different shit. And a lot of times they're using you to get where they want to be. Yeah, where they want to be and shit like that. But because I, I don't mind helping if we helping each other. Right. 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 What does mental health mean to you? My mental health means the world to me. I will literally, I'll stop anything as long as yeah. my mental health good. Like, I, like and I learned yeah. that through therapy. Um, when you had asked what's the biggest, what was the biggest growth point? Yeah. Was when I it was my first depressive state when I actually really went through depression. I started getting into therapy. Okay. That was the pivot of my whole. I think I, think I might need therapy. It because some days I don't really feel like people of color us. Yeah, we need that. We need it. And I've been through a lot in life, so I really feel like I, therapy would should I, I really should like. I, it's not that I've. Like, I don't feel like some days that my mental health is at 100. I don't think our mental health will never be at a 100, especially mm-hmm. when you get older right. and you start going through life and, and with exactly. things, dealing with different things. Yeah. But, like, when you come from trauma mm-hmm. and all that, like, you should, like, it, it just get some mental health. You got to do it to some, where you're like, satisfied enough to move on. Mm-hmm. But, like, yeah. it's like, if you're stuck in the mental state all the time and you're just working and not focusing on that. Yes, because you it, it'll swallow you up, too. Right. Cause then you gonna reach a break. You gonna reach. <laughs> Swallow. <laughs> <up. laughs> yeah. uh, like me, like me personally, I cut somebody off quick. I block somebody yeah. quick. Like, oh I'm, yeah. I'm so serious about my. I don't peace, play about me. Happiness. Like right. I don't have time for that. I change. I I, I have about five numbers, bro. Man. We keep changing them because it's like, the nah. only. This the only motherfucker that get me out of character. This the only one that get me out yeah, of character. Yeah, you have that person. Like everybody else, you has the most patient with you. I just seen it. Like my parents, they are they they will have the most patience with everybody else, but it's just when they they mm. the only two that bump heads. Like my, I feel like my mama the only person that can get my dad out of character, and he and Society? yeah, like he's <laughs> the only one that can make uh, she, she the only one that can make but, him angry. Yeah, that's like that's one of our like um most recent debates right now. It's like I'm trying to get her to understand like how much power you have, like. One smile, one frown, one look, one energy. Oh, yeah, energy. Can energy energy can be transferred. It can mess like, up my whole week. Yeah, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? So that's all like a part of energy. Yeah. So you got to make also, sure you stay up so I stay up. Yeah. Now, also, you got to get to a point where it's like, yo, you're not affected by everything that your partner Man. doing. It's difficult, right? Now, I, I got to that <laughs> point. I got to that point. Like, I don't I don't be affected by too much. And it's not that I don't care. Yeah. It is like I choose not to let stuff bother me all the oh, time. Yeah. It's like it's a waste of time. Why I got to be upset? I like being happy. Like. I, oh, yeah. I smiled coming out the womb. I <laughs> smiled in my sleep. I smiled waking up. I used to wake up as a baby, six in the morning every day, smiling at the edge of my crib. My mom like, thought I had bees and feet in my sleep. Like, I started, like, you know, pat, pat, pat yeah. my feet. Like, I, I wanted mean, to walk you, you so bad. Ready, yeah. <laughs> I was ready to run the street. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What is yeah. the biggest challenge you've overcome in your mental health? Um. Really, um, I was in a terrible relationship for a couple of years, and it left me feeling like I thought I wanted to be suicidal. You know what I'm saying? So mm. getting over that hurdle, and it was just it was just crazy because it's like she she was she was a kind of a public figure. I was kind of a public figure, and we went to yeah. church together too. Oh so yeah. it's like even though we beefing, everybody know what's going on. So y'all gotta beef, right? And public at I'm, all times. I'm playing yeah. piano. She still gotta sing. I'm. You know, it's just, <laughs> every Sunday, 
she still, you know, but once I honestly got over that and just really just focused on me and now yeah. I got a family now and, you know, yeah. everything that we doing, it's just like, yeah. And like, she still be watching me, but. Yeah, but well she. You know, TikTok be snitching. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The profile be. You might have to block You can hide her, it, though. You can hide it. Uh, yeah, you probably yeah. Butter, just block a butter baby. I think for me, but now, I want, you getting blocked. I, I, I just want, want, I want her to see what she missed out on, baby. You put well, me out here living lavish. That, listen, that don't matter no more. True, you're true. married. You have a child. Y'all could see the child together. I, she ain't got to. Once y'all have made a child together, I'm not saying that you y'all got to be together, but mm -hmm. there's some type of bond that made you want to put a child in someone. So. What what she feel and how she feel don't even matter no more. She fucked up and she should have kept her good thing. So now right. you got Miss Diamond. Yeah, so that's all we worried about. Conception ain't your choice. Conception is God's choice. So right. that was supposed to happen. Ava was supposed to be right. born by y'all too. So True. You know I mean, I think True. for me though, um, my biggest challenge, my biggest hurdle was isolation and realizing um that I need to forgive myself. Yeah, a lot of stuff I done in the past is like. I felt like I could not speak up against people doing stuff to me because of the fact that I did so much to other people mm -hmm. and hurt other people. So, so I like, feel like I feel like at one point, like in my mental health, mm -hmm. where it really played a, a big part of my mental health is when I became homeless, mm -hmm. and I really feel like who who was my real friends, who uh, was really had my best interest at heart. I had just got ran over by a car, and in the same week, I caught COVID. And I feel like everything was just going downhill for me, and it played a big part of my mental health. And I was like, "What? What? Who am? And who? And what am I still here for?" Mm -hmm. So I really feel like I didn't have nobody in life. So then I went to social media, and I was telling them about it. And I saw the love that I got from social media. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they say social media can be <laughs> a bad place, but social media saved lives. Cause at one point I wanted to go in the bathroom to temple with my wrist, but I knew that I had people that was out there that was actually support me and wanted to see me do more. Right. That's some real stuff. Like I man, isolation. When you when 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 God puts you through your isolation moment, like as especially yeah. in that point, it'll it'll really show you some shit for real. Like it'll really oh, show yeah. you like one, how to trust him, one how to trust yourself and be okay in that isolation and yeah, be okay yeah. in the bad times. Like Joe and prayer really helped. Like, Joe, oh my God, I man. prayed a lot. Like during that time, like I, all I could do was pray, pray and cry. All right. I think I, I think that was mm -hmm. the most time. Like I really like, yeah. I really cried so fucking bad. Like every day of my life, like I I, I cried at least three times that day. Mm -hmm. I couldn't hear no gospel because I'm watching a sad show on the TV. And I see them on there crying. I'm just yeah. crying with them. I'm like, oh my God. Hey, that's a hey, that's a good point. Isolated but not separated, bro. For real, like, man. Yeah, me and you know, to myself, but not by myself. Right, man. You gotta real like a word. God will isolate you from other people because, like, you need to realize that you you lifting these people up more than you lifting him him up. Mm. So yeah. I, I got a, I got a question. So did y'all talk about like mental health growing up? Like. Did y'all, because I really, I don't feel Not like there was a conversation. Should, yeah, right. I don't feel like I had that conversation with my friends and stuff growing mm -hmm. up. Like, I had a friend that lost his, his mom when we was young. Like, we was 11. And I asked him, like, uh, like a few months ago, I was like, how are you after losing your mom? Because I couldn't, that's my mm -hmm. worst fear. My worst, I said my worst fear. <laughs> What's <laughs> that? <laughs> <laughs> my worst fear. And um, I, I was checking on him. I was like... <laughs> yeah, that's my um, that's my worst fear, and he was just like he he teared up. Mm -hmm. He was like nobody never asked me that because I really wanted to know, like, yeah. and I think mm -hmm. that's what made me and his bun like a little bit more stronger than what it was mm -hmm. when I asked him that because the simple fact that people really don't care about what people go through no more. Right. Right, absolutely. Especially men's mental health. Oh it's yeah, like, that's nobody really that's care a about me. Game. They don't feel like men should have feelings. Like my dad, I hate to see me cry. Like he was like, don't start. Like we was at a funeral. He was like, don't start that crying. And I'm like, what the fuck? We at a funeral. Why <laughs> can't I cry? That was my cousin. My dad for the longest would like he'd do this thing. He'll um if he's about to cry or something like that, he'll. And yeah, like like a lot of me, like, like I don't know how he do it, but he'll blink and the tear just gone because you'll see it like start to pull up. And he, but he just got to a point where he's like, it's okay to express emotions. And he cried in front of me for the first time, 
and that was like a huge pivot in my family. Yeah. Uh, my family dynamic. Like we we cry together, we go through stuff together, and you go out to the world and uh, yeah. show that love as well. Like show people that you ha- they have an yeah. outlet. Mm-hmm. Their emotions are valid. Their feelings are real. Yes, sir. I'm a, I'm a always yeah. express my emotions and my feelings. I'm, yeah, I'm a that's, cry. That's something I'm learning from him. Cause yeah. you know, he say he learning from me. I'm learning from him. Like yeah. just to, I'm like, gonna always cry. Being in touch with your emotions don't mean you weak. Don't mean you know you questioning your sexuality. It don't mean nothing. Yeah. You just because I just seen straight got like, feelings. like I just seen yeah. straight men cry. I never seen my father cry growing up. Even mm-hmm. when his dad passed. But when him and my mom separated, he was mm-hmm. crying like a baby. I was like, damn, what, <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <Yeah. laughs> What happened? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. So, um, so what? What do? How do? Y- do y'all feel like y'all gonna be friends like for long term? Like, do y'all feel like? Not friend, my brother. Yeah. So well, yeah, for yeah. sure. <laughs> okay. So do y'all feel like yeah. y'all? Gonna nah, be I do be having these moments where I feel like. Cause you know people outgrow people. Do y'all feel like? I get y'all can never outgrow each other. Let me say that. I don't feel like I don't feel like that's I don't feel like that's not an option. I mean I don't feel like that's not a, a thing that could happen. Like anything could happen. So it's like God could be putting yeah. us in each other's life for a season. For a re- to yeah, elevate, for, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Right. What values are important to you and when you think about the kind of business you want to be a um some good questions, Diamond. Mean, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I know, right? They come back. <laughs> these words, you start with that. Wet, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, you gotta ask that again. Let me, uh, okay, a lot of businesses when, start out yeah, with yeah. a lot of um, a, a lot of good values, like genuine values. Yeah. And then, like, later on down the road, it turns to a snaky business. It turns into deceitful business. Everybody trying to take each other down so they can get to the top. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. I, want, I want the foundation to continue on as okay we have good morals yeah, we keep yeah, we lifting yeah. each other up constantly like there was a man just recently he left um i think it was 700 employees of his business he they're all the owners of that business now once he passed he put all of them in his will mm. so now yeah, they all so own that business that's good that business I, I i feel like that's the best thing he could have ever did <coughs> definitely because he said all of them up for financial <coughs> financial um freedom all so where, 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 where could where could where could people go to to learn more about you, baby? They these questions come so goddamn. Oh man, I'd have jumped to a whole nother thing. Where could, where could they go? Really, my house. You don't want the people at your house, Dad. That's where. That's really where you're gonna learn me. I I I now, if, I was they, born in Cordell. Your- I lived in Warner Robins, but I grew up. Here in um, Middle Georgia, Atlanta, Henry I'm County. I'm thinking so this nigga like, finna say it's social media. Yeah, I'm just finna say that. Like, wait a minute now. You don't want everybody to know. No, no, no. I'm talking about like physically. Like, you yeah, want to know no, me. I'm saying like, how can we learn about you on social <laughs> like, media? You don't want to watch more about you. Yeah, you don't want everybody to know. I don't give. I don't really give myself for real on social media. Social media. Mm-mm. Yeah, he, he don't care about being in the spotlight. I don't care. I don't care that much. Nah. Well, I, I didn't used to be like that either. I didn't really like it, but when I seen, I was like, "Shit, let me just go with the flow. <laughs> Let's just get it out the way." But yeah, you can find me on TikTok. What's my TikTok? G Way Baby underscore. They look up G Way Baby on every on everything. G Way Baby on everything. You'll find Mark some keys, but I, ain't, I don't really post nothing for it. I'm about to. So but before really before we end, the fuck, what what is y'all favorite quote? Do y'all have any quotes for anybody that oh. y'all that's dealing with anything that y'all feel like should be? Now, what 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 quote could y'all give to somebody that they could go by, that they could just live by? What are some quotes that y'all can? It don't matter how you start, as long as you start. No, it's not about how you start. It's about how you finish. Yeah, okay. as well. Okay. Yeah. So that and the you know the um the six months from now you're gonna wish you would have started six months ago. So that that's gonna help a lot of people. Also, um, if you wouldn't take advice for them. From them, why would you take their criticism? You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't nobody you look up to. Like, yeah. So why is you even letting they, you know, negativity and bad comments bring you down? If you know, right. so that. Um, yeah, but then just, again, if even if you look up to them, you don't want to. You don't want to take from too many. Some people can put you in a bad like true, place because they see how much you love them and care for them and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Just mm-hmm. take advantage of it. Yeah, that that and just remember that you matter, bro. You everybody matter. Everybody matter. Yeah. So, um, 
it was nice to have y'all on Let's Wine about it. And, appreciate it. Appreciate it. And it was good. So th- these come, these questions We got to have good. a glass. Let's wine about it. We do a little cheese at the end. Well, yeah, we can do the fake glass. But well, now, you know, <laughs> y'all welcome to, <laughs> welcome to air, uh, y'all welcome to Let's Wine about it. And this have been Let's Wine about it. She, <laughs> cheers. <laughs> <laughs> all my life. Been grinding all my life. Sacrifice.